Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I welcome you to another voice actor spotlight. Ahsoka Tano has to be my favorite Star Wars character. Or I should say, she's the last character from the franchise that I really enjoyed because of the tremendous growth she went through since her first appearance in 2008. I like her so much that I just had to find out more about the actress who gave her all that wonderful warmth, determination and compassion. And to my satisfaction, I like Ashley Eckstein just as much as her character. She's a sweet, friendly and adorable woman who made it into the business while also creating her own fashion brand called Her Universe. Let me show you what I found about this extraordinary human being. Born on September 22, 1981 in Louisville, Kentucky as Ashley Drain, she grew up in Orlando, Florida where her father was a Disney cast member. She describes herself as being definitely raised Disney, as she fell in love with acting during a live taping of the Mickey Mouse Club and started taking acting classes. She got the acting bug early and had a dream of performing on the Disney Channel. To that end, she enrolled at Dr. Phillips High School's magnet program for acting. At 12 years old, she portrayed Alan Keller on stage in a community theater production of The Miracle Worker and gained additional experience with more theater and doing many TV commercials and a TV show for SeaWorld. Ashley made her way to Los Angeles to pursue her dream and with the experience she gained in Orlando, she was able to obtain TV and movie roles. But what she really wanted to do was get into voice acting. When she was young, she loved the Disney princesses and the first time she really understood that there was an actor behind a cartoon character was when she watched The Little Mermaid, voiced by Jodie Benson. Naturally, years later, she begged her agent to send her on voiceover auditions, which proved to be difficult. Ashley went to 400 auditions in 4 years and didn't get any roles until she was cast as Ahsoka Tano on Star Wars Clone Wars in 2008. Ashley is glad she didn't give up and this confirms once more that voice actors are some of the more resilient people on earth. Could you imagine going to 400 job interviews and not get a single one? Most of us would go crazy. Ashley was a big Star Wars fan, watching the movies on VHS, holding on to her Ewok plushie and enjoying riding the Star Tours at the then called Disney MGM Studios. So landing Ahsoka was a big deal for her, a true dream come true. Growing up, she disagreed that Star Wars was for boys, because she loved it, and when she went to convention, she saw other girls enjoying it as well. But she realized quickly that Ahsoka was going to be a game changer, and she did, now there's plenty of female Jedi. But let's take a look at some of Ashley's roles, she has a good resume. Some of her roles are credited as Ashley Drain before she married MLB player David Eckstein. Ashley's first credited TV role is on the series Jag as Lisa Rosbach in 2001. She did six episodes of the rerun show and played Jan Brady in the TV movie The Brady Bunch in the White House. Abraham Lincoln, you can hear me? I can hear you. She was a guest star in a few popular series such as That 70s Shows or Drake and Josh as Susan. Drake wanted me to see the premiere of his music video project. Before landing her first recurring role as Muffy on That So Raven. Breakfast, because without it, you wouldn't have enough energy to spend quality time with your loving sister. <laughs> oh! She was a series regular on Blue Collar TV and portrayed Alicia in Sydney White before being cast in Star Wars The Clone Wars. She performed Ahsoka a total of 14 credited times. From the movie... I'm Ahsoka? Master Yoda sent me. I was told to tell both of you that you must get back to the Jedi Temple immediately. There's an emergency. To the series... The Separatists have a new gunship with a powerful ray shield. Nothing's getting past it. The many video games like Zen Pinball, Jedi Math, three Clone Wars games being the original, Jedi Alliance and Republic Heroes. Let's put that theory to the test. Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, Star Wars Pinball and Disney Infinity 3.0. Then she reprised it for Rebels. Information about him eludes me, but I've learned more about his Inquisitors. It seems they have a secondary mission to make retrieval. Force of Destiny, Rise of Skywalker, and recently Tales of the Jedi. This is ridiculous. The droids aren't half as good as Rex's men. Ashley also performed for audiobooks, like Star Wars Ahsoka. I kind of wish she had been cast in the live action role too. You could have heard her in two iterations of Sophia the First as Mia the Bluebird. Birds of a feather stick together. What? She's a bird now. Or as Lady Alana in Avengers Assemble. You are not at fault, Iron Man. Wakanda is responsible for our situation. But you more than likely heard her as Cheetah in four versions of DC Superhero Girls. Uh, 
Frost is Hero of the Month before me? Ugh, I can't even. She also lent her voice to Dagger. That was my purifying blast. And it's all I had left. And Shriek in Ultimate Spider-Man. That's funny. I thought you said cake. And Dollstar in the 2020 TV series She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. I can't hold it anymore! I'm really happy I did research on Ashley. She's not only a great actress, she's also a great businesswoman, starting her own fashion brand in 2014, while authoring the book Star Wars Every Day A Year of Activities, Recipes and Craft from a Galaxy Far Far Away. I am a Padawan, and it's your universe, you have the power to make it happen. She did a lot, so I might have missed a few things. Feel free to let me know in the comments, and let me know what's your favorite thing she did. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Ashley Eckstein's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, everyone on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.